Hi, welcome back. This class will be a short class, 15 minutes relaxation. Sometimes we just don't have enough time for a full restorative practice. So here you can see a few poses that will help you to relax and just get on with your day after that, feeling more rejuvenated and more fresh and alive. All right, let's get started. Before we start our practice, I wanted to let you know about my online programs and workshops. Whether you're new to Iyengar Yoga and want to learn the basics in a systematic way, a seasoned practitioner looking to revisit the essentials, or a yoga teacher seeking inspiration. These programs and workshops are self-paced, allowing you to make consistent progress and revisit specific topics whenever you like. You can find the link in the description below. With that said, let's begin our practice today. All right, I'm going to show you how to set up what we'll do first. Very easy. First, we're just going to lie down and bring the legs up the wall. So you don't really need many props. Maybe you'll just have an extra blanket. Okay, and I have a bag here, a weight. So if you have that, you can use it. Um, if not, no problem. All right, so I'll come down first of all lie down and we're going to take the legs up the wall but not too close all right so this is just in case you have tight hamstrings it doesn't matter so much because you won't be coming too close to the wall so just bring the legs up the wall and then bring your arms out to the side so here the legs are elevated you're allowing that circulation to happen in the ankles, in the calves, and that space in the pelvis. So you can feel the legs dropping down. If you have a sandbag or you want to put the blocks there, you can have the, the feet. <laughs> you have to negotiate it. All right, so I'm pressing it up, and I'll have that weight pretty much on the heels. And as I press the heels up, it comes more onto the balls of the feet. So you don't need to have that, but if you have a little bit of weight, maybe a couple blocks or a sandbag, just take that so that you <clears throat> enable the femur bone to move down into the pelvis. The lower back is relaxed on the floor. The abdomen is relaxed. So from the inner ribs to the inner hip joints to the pubic bone, the abdominal cavity can sink down. Now just watch that you're not shortening the lower back, but press down and lift the back ribs. So you'll be lengthening the thoracic area away from your hips, which will then allow you to release the, the abdomen from the pubic bone to the diaphragm area, release downward, and then you can have a blanket if you need to have that blanket behind the head. If you have any <clears throat> tightness or pressure in the head, the blanket will help to just <clears throat> give you a little bit of softness there on the skull. And as this is a 15 minute practice, so just <laughs> stay in each of these for five minutes just to have a little bit of release relief to the legs coming back to the breath allowing the shoulders to relax chest to open arms to completely relax relax all the way down through the forearms and the wrist and the fingers and here you just allow the fingers to Relax completely, so as you do that, the fingers will move in towards one another. As if you had a little bit of a weight right in the center of the hand, so the, right in the palm, which will then create that relaxed feeling in the fingers, the digits. Just come back to your breath. And 
As you exhale, let the shoulders relax, relax around the neck, the chest relax. As you feel the rise and the fall of the breath, allow the heart region to release and soften. Abdomen is soft. So as you exhale, just allowing the breath to exhale on its own without you doing anything to control. So you keep that softness in the abdomen. Begin to deepen your inhalation. Bring your hands back onto your abdomen. Preparing to come up, you'll bend your knees, slide your feet down the wall, bring your feet onto the floor. And then roll onto your right side and press yourself up. As you come up, we're going to stay down on the floor and come into forward virasana. So here I have a bolster and two blankets. So I built it up, the bolster with two blankets and one here for the head. You can also Use two bolsters, it'll depend. You're coming into forward virasana, you're bringing that bolster in close to the pelvis. So the whole abdominal area is going to be supported. I can even slide the blankets down a bit more. And then I want to lift up over the edge and come down. So as I come down, I'll bring my arms here and rest my head. Now, if the abdomen doesn't go all the way to that blanket. If you're up a little bit further, if you have a knee issue, whatever it may be, you can build it up with another bolster and take it as high as you need to. But the idea is have the abdomen supported. Okay, I have this weight as well. I'm gonna put it on my lower back just to feel that descending action of the hips, lower back releasing, and I'll bring my arms here and rest my head. So here, if you, if you do have weight, the weight is moving down, so the lower back lengthens. And with that, now I can feel the abdominal area, the whole chest. If you don't need the blanket for the head, you can just cross the arms there's just space, enough space for the nose, so you can breathe. So if the bank blanket's not required, don't take it. If you don't have blankets, you could use towels to fold. And then just be here. Let your head rest completely. To the back of the head, descending. If you want a little bit more softness through the head, you can have the blanket. And just have the forehead on the blanket and then rest your arms completely. Just having enough height on the blanket so the nose is freed from touching that blanket. So here, without the arms crossed, the shoulders are able to relax. 
can have the hands in different positions so that you can relax the shoulders, relax across the upper back, and then the whole back body, just sending it down. So find the best position, either the arms crossed or the head on the blanket. And just allow yourself to be there. As you release the head, let the neck release, soften the throat. And begin to observe the abdomen, the breath in the abdomen, the breath in the chest. You can feel that along the blanket. allowing the back body to release. If you've had the arms crossed, then change the cross on the arms now. Let's feel that the hips are heavy, releasing downward. Allow the body just to be completely supported and let go. Preparing to come up. If you have any weight on your lower back, take that off. Come up. Take one of your blankets. Take your bolsters away. And then you'll lie down for Shavasana. You can take the bolsters and the blankets. Just bring it onto your legs or any other weight that you have. It could be blocks. And just allow the legs to descend. When you come down, just make sure that you've lengthened your lower back and then extend the legs out. A little bit of space between the legs, space between the arms and the side trunk, and then just be there. Come back to the breath. Let the arms go completely, the hands, the wrists. Softening your eyelids. Let the eyes descend down. Release your jaw, relax the throat. Allow the tongue to become narrower and to be drawn downward. Find your breath, stay with your breath. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring some energy down into the legs, into the toes, into the arms, and into the fingers. Preparing to come up, bring your hands onto the abdomen, bending the elbows. If you have something on the legs, move that to the side. And then bend your knees. And Rolling onto the side. Gently press yourself up. Come back. And slowly open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Consider this a power nap. Just a few poses to relax yourself and relax your mind. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time in the next class. Namaste. Take care.